Hey guys, so today I'm filming a video on full face of products that I hate. Just a disclaimer though, I'm not dissing the brands at all. Most of these brands I actually really love and they have some great products, but just these products in particular don't work for me and don't work for my skin type. Um, so yeah, I'm not trying to like diss the brand or say like don't get it because it's different for everybody who uses it. But I'll just get straight into the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye! So I'm starting off with my brows for the brow product, wow, <laughs> for the brow product that I don't necessarily like that much. It's the Australia's Browse It Eyebrow Perfecting Kit. Now it's not that I hate the product because I don't think it's that bad. It's more that like this is the darkest shade that they have and it's still like way too light for my brows. And um, so I find it actually really hard to buy products for my brows. But um, yeah, so it I've heard really great things about this for other people. but just doesn't work for my brows. So I'm just going to be combing through my brows to get them all in place, the shape I want them. Then for the brush, um, for eyebrows, I'm using my Zoeva 317 Winged Liner Brush. Um, first I'm going into the like, I think it's a pomade, I don't know, it says, oh sorry, yeah, I think it's a pomade, I don't know. And then just putting this in my brows. Look, to be honest, this product actually isn't that bad, but I, it's just the colour. It's actually quite dark, but it's more of like a chocolatey brown rather than like a really dark. It has like red undertones to it. You can't see it as much on camera, but there's definitely like reddy tones in there. My eyebrows have absolutely no red tones in them. So it does look a bit silly like in natural light in my eyebrows, but overall, like the actual product itself is not that bad at all. So like... If you have that colour eyebrow, it would be good for that. Um, for my eye base, I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow base. Oh, sorry, is it NYX or NYX? I'm sorry if I pronounce brand names wrong. I know that can annoy his people, so sorry. Um, so the NYX eyeshadow base, I don't know what colour this is in, but it's just like the white one. And I just don't think it looks good underneath. And it, I just feel like it doesn't do anything and it's just not a good colour and I just personally don't like it, so yeah. Oh my god, I honestly look so scary right now. Okay, so I'm just going to be blending this in with a beauty blender. And it creases really quickly. I haven't used this product in such a long time. But yeah, that creased so much in my crease. <clears throat> the palette I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the Sports Girl Eyeshade Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. So to set down this, I'm just going to be getting this white shade in here called Vanilla and just setting that down with a Zoeva 220 Luxe Grand Shader Brush. So I'm going to start off with this shade here called Caramel and just going to be building that up in my caress. Now I'm just going to be getting this shade here called Pretzel and adding this just a bit lower. This is actually not a bad colour, I feel like it's actually blending out pretty well. This is probably my favourite shade in this palette because it's the only one I guess that really works. Now to add a bit of depth into my crease and darken it up a bit, just going into this Models Prefer palette and getting this last shade here. It doesn't actually have um, the name, it just has three on it. So yeah. This colour goes really patchy and it's really hard to blend out. A little patchy. I don't like this. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just because I don't think you are able to see very much of what's going on with this area. Okay, so now we're all up close and personal. I'm just gonna keep blending that in. So as you can see, it goes quite patchy and it's really hard to blend out. But we're just gonna keep working with it. 
one eternity later. So I just changed it to this round fluffy brush from Zoeva. It is the... Don't know, it's covered in tape because my phone broke it, so... Now, going back into the Sports Girl palette, I'm just going to be getting this black shade here called Licorice on a 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva. And I'm just going to be putting this on the outer third of my eye. This colour is so hard to blend out and it's going really patchy. Uh. For my lid shade, I'm just eyeshadow things. I just don't like them because I feel like they flake off and they're just really hard to apply and get them to stay on because they transfer on to your eyes as well. So I'm using the shade Gold Gaga. And just with a little small brush, just going to be getting this and putting it on my lid. Like, they're so beautiful when you first put them on, and the pigmentation's grouse, but they just don't last, and they get really flaky if you put too much on, and yeah. So, I just don't feel they work for me. So, I couldn't find any false lashes that I don't like, so I'm just not going to wear any, um, mostly because I can't be bothered putting any on. So, I'm just going to put some more mascara on, but mascara that actually works. So I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Maybelline New York Mega Lash Volume Mascara that is waterproof. For base primer, I'm going to be using the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. Now, I actually love this as a primer. Like, it works so well and it keeps your makeup on forever. Like, I mean, forever. Um, but it makes me break out really bad. Like even if I just use it once, I'll break out so bad the next day. So that's why I don't like it because like I like it in the way it can work, but also don't like my skin breaking out. So pray for my skin tomorrow. I love the smell of it though. It smells so good. It's gonna be, oh my God, this one is so rubbing it into my skin. And you wanna rub it until it gets tacky now for foundation i'm going to be using the covergirl true blend foundation in the shade m3 golden beige i'm just going to be using it on this chi chi professional buffing brush okay well the nozzle doesn't work so i'm just going to have to take it out yum put it on my skin i don't even think this is the right color for my neck right now but it's Really the only foundation that I had that I hated. I have another CoverGirl. It's this CoverGirl Clean one. And I just put it on my face before I tried to see if it was the right colour. And it was on there for just a while because I just didn't wash it off. It was on there for like 5 or 10 minutes. And it started to like burn my skin. So I was like, I'm not putting that all over my face. So, yep, just had to resort to this one. I just... I, just, I don't know why I don't like this foundation. I just don't. I don't think it has very good coverage. Um, it's a really strange colour. Like it has a really like ashy sort of colour to it. And it makes you look washed out. So yeah. Has just yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> like I actually really like the finish of this foundation. Like I really love glowy foundations, but it's gone like patchy. And it's a really strange colour, like it makes me look sunburnt right now, like in, I don't know what it looks like on the camera. It looks sort of normal on the camera, but in my mirror, it honestly looks like I'm really sunburnt. So now I'm going in with my concealer, I'm using the Avon Extra Lasting Concealer, and I always use this as my eye base. I love it as an eye base and to carve out my brows, um, but on the face, it's just a really light colour. Like, I'm sure it would be fine for people that are really, really pale skin, but this, like, I consider myself really pale skin. And, um, this is just, like, white. So, yeah. I'm also going to be using this beauty sponge because I hate it. So, I thought I'd include it in this video. So. And now I'm just going to be blending it in. I feel like this sponge takes the makeup off more than it's, like, blending it in. For powder, I couldn't find a powder that I really hate, I guess. This is just one that I don't use a lot. It's the MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder in the shade NC25. So I'm just going to be getting that. Putting it under my eyes to set the concealer. 
and also be sitting the rest of my face with it. I'm not saying it's a bad powder, I just don't use it as much as my other. For bronzer, I'm just going to be using this L'Oreal Sun Bronze bronzer. It's broken in the pan, but I just feel like this is way too warm. And I just personally don't like it that much. For blush and highlight, I'm going into my Maybelline New York Master Contour Palette. I just don't like this blush because it has it's really sparkly. And I personally don't like blushes that are too sparkly. Like, it's not the worst blush in the world, but it's just my least favourite of all my blushes. And I'm going to be using the highlight in here too. Look, it's not too bad, but it just... All my other highlighters are the Anastasia ones, and it just doesn't compare to that one. So it's not a bad highlight, it's just, again, not my most favourite one. So I'm going to go do my bottom lash line. I'm just going to be getting the shade Caramel and Pretzel from this palette and putting it on the lower lash line. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in Dolce K. It's not the formula that I don't like about this, I just don't like the colour on me, so I'm not actually dissing this product, I just don't think the colour suits me and it's the only lipstick I could find that I don't like, I guess. <laughs> oh, they smell so amazing though. They literally smell so good. I find this lipstick also dries really quickly, so if you mess up, it's really hard to correct. So, yeah, I just don't reckon this colour suits me at all. So, I'm not dissing the product. I just don't like the colour on my skin tone. So, yeah. So, this is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And please remember to subscribe. When you press subscribe, also click the little bell button so you get a no <laughs> So you get a notification every time I post a video. I am trying to post more frequently now, which is very exciting. Um, please also comment some ideas for new videos and if you'd like to see more videos like this. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.